So the next program that we're going to be looking at is VMD, which is up on the screen right now. Uh, and VMD has a lot of similarities to PyMall, actually. It has the big graphical OpenGL display window where the molecule is going to show up. And then um, sort of akin to PyMall's object control panel is this VMD main window where, uh, where you can make the magic happen, essentially. Um, Unlike PyMall, though, VMD doesn't have a direct connection to the PDB, so we'll have to just download our structure or upload our structure into VMD. Uh, and we can do that because our structure is already saved on the desktop. So to open our structure in VMD, we go to New Molecule, hit Browse, and there's our crystal structure waiting for us. Say Open. And then just check that the file type is specified correctly in this drop-down menu because sometimes VMD gets it wrong. But in this case, VMD is right. So we can just hit load and then our structure will show up in the VMD main menu. And again now it's in line representation. So to change the representation we go to VMD main, graphics, representations and that opens the graphical representations menu for us. So uh, to show the structure in cartoon representation we want to click again on the create rep button and to change the drawing method we go to this drop down menu here and select new cartoon which like Pymal shows the uh, alpha helices and those lovely coils and then there's our familiar beta sheet again and to hide the line representation we go back to the graphical representations window and double click on the line representation and that disappears from our our um, structure here um, and to create a representation of our three favorite residues, we again go to Create Representation, uh, and instead of all, we'll type in the residue numbers by first using the keyword res ID, and we want residue number 2, 196, 243, 281, and 500 for the citrate molecule press enter to lock that in um, and to change the drawing method of our selection of residues go again to drawing method and licorice which is the VMD version of sticks you can see that they already have shown up here um, to zoom in on the selection we actually don't have mouse button commands like Pymall does, but you can do everything from the VMD main window. So you go to the mouse menu in the VMD main window. You can see that right now we're on rotate mode, uh, which is specified by the shortcut R. But we can also go to translate mode, which we can just move around the structure around the screen. And to scale the structure, go to S in the mouse submenu and uh, that is, okay. didn't seem to be working, we'll try that again. Hmm. Scale doesn't want to work for some reason, but that's okay because the uh, centra rolly ball on a three button mouse will do essentially the same thing. So you just roll forward to zoom in and then back to zoom out. Um, and instead of going to the mouse submenu all the time, we can use the shortcuts that are specified. So if we just, if we want R, rotate, or translate, we can just hover the mouse over the OpenGL window, make sure the GL window is active, um, and press R for rotating. And you can, you know that your mode has changed because the mouse cursor changes shape slightly, so it's um, when you press T, you'll see it more. Uh, you know now that you can translate up or down or side to side. Um, so we'll want to do a combination of that to zoom into our selection. 
But as you can see, VMD zooms a little differently than Pymal does. So to change the mode of zooming, we can go to display and change from perspective to orthographic. So that way it doesn't feel like our cartoon representation is poking our eyeballs out. Um, and in case things like that bother you, you can get rid of the little axis on the bottom left hand corner by going to display axes and turning them off. Um, and again, to be able to center our molecule, we probably want to turn off the cartoon representation. So again, go to the graphical representations window and double click on the new cartoon structure uh, or representation. So uh, there's our selection. Still in translate mode, now I'm in rotate mode a little bit. Center our selection of the screen a little bit here. There we go. Um, and to change the color of the citrate molecule, we'll go to graphical representations and again, like in Pymol, make a representation of just the citrate. Delete the other three residue numbers, press enter to lock it in. Then to change the color, we go to coloring method and change the coloring method to color ID which then gives you a drop-down menu of a bunch of different colors. So right now, blue is the default. You can see that the citrate molecule has already changed blue, so we can make it a nice handsome orange or mauve, which actually doesn't look like mauve, but at least it's a different color than everything else. Um, and so just like the... Uh, the different mouse modes that we have, we also have different modes for measuring distances or angles. So to see those shortcuts, you go to the mouse submenu in the VMD main window, go to label, and you can see that to label the atoms, you just press 1 while you're hovering the mouse over the window, or to do bonds, you press 2 and um, angles 3. If you want to do dihedrals, like the way um, you see in a Newman projection, you press 4. So if we wanted to measure some of those same distances, we could press 2. Zoom in a little more, maybe. Rotate. A fun feature of VMD is that it um, goes through what are called clip planes for you, so if it feels like a portion of the molecule is getting too close for you, it just kind of does away with it a little bit. So you have to play around with the rotation to get the view you want. So this looks like it's pretty good, so to measure the distances we click one nitrogen on this arginine residue and then the nearby oxygen can rotate it a little bit to see that the distance is around 4.8 angstroms, so much too long for hydrogen bonding. Um, and those are some of the helpful things that VMD can do.